Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Big fighting, actually. Now, yeah. have knocked out Doritos, and now we're getting Usek. Come on, give my man Dordic some put some respect on that name, man. That that man. What I'm about. You want to you want to you know jerk off a, a prospect fight that no one cares about, oh, but let's jerk shit. off. You let's jerk off Usek and Gassiev now. That was I a got, fantastic. I back got two fight. hands, Matt. I got two hands. Let's jerk off Usek and Gassiev now. Come on, you're a fucking hipster. This is what you waited for. Oh, that's you go, man. It's your show today. I get it. What it's the fuck? I already talked about all the stuff I wanted to talk about. You want talked about all the stuff you ain't want to talk about already, no, man. No. Let's get let's get to it. Uh, Cassia can... versus Dordicus. I left you your 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 topic all for you. Oh, no, you go. You're the lead host. You bring it. You oh, shit. It. If both of you are gonna play hot potato, I'll take the lead on this one. Then oh, you watch this one. You watch. Uh, hell yeah, I watch this one. I still. Oh, why you, you watch, watch this one? Wait, wait. This is perfect because. Matt and I had an argument about the last time this tournament was on. We said something like, I, I said I didn't care because it wasn't on U.S. television. So what, what made you seek out a link for this fight over watching ESPN that is well, this? Well, it was uh, a free official link on their official YouTube account that actually yeah, worked. Yeah, besides, besides what, just, what Matt just said. Matt, let uh, me ask you a question. Okay. There's a link on their YouTube account. There Does was. The boxing fans still have to seek the fucking link? Mr. Technicality over here. There was a link on their official YouTube. I mean, you follow him on social media. I'm a hardcore. I'm a hardcore and did not know that there was a YouTube link. I mean, I mean, I pulled up, I pulled up my YouTube account, and and since I follow certain, you know, certain web page, I mean, the certain channels and stuff like that, it just had it up there for me. As a related, uh, uh, yeah, as a related topic. But even so, I didn't know until I think one of you guys actually uh, uh, put me privy to the to the fight being on YouTube. There was no outside source for me that I received, like in a in, in a commercial or anything like that, that let me know that you know. Why? So, why uh, would there be? I mean, what uh, are you looking for a commercial on TV to talk what, about? It what do you mean? Why would there be? Because they need to promote this shit that no one knows about. Yeah, like, a, a fight in Russia that's getting their money in Europe. They streamed it on on for free in the U.S. I mean, that's what we wanted for them to stream it, and they 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 announced it all over their social media. If you follow their social media, you saw it. Yeah, but but but, if, but if you're, you're hardcore saying, Ness and you have hardcore fans. You had it. Wait, wait a minute, but you're saying so you're saying so you're saying that that because it was streamed free, it doesn't really matter. No, like, I'm if people if people if people if people, if people actually are exposed to some type of source of information that'll let them know that the fight's actually happening. Did did they air commercials in the U.S. on U.S. TV for? Uh, I'm asking you. I, I didn't see anything, so I wouldn't know. You would no, know more than me. There's never gonna be commercials for overseas boxing fights on U.S. TV that are streamed on YouTube. Uh, okay, but see, you're you're holding you're holding me to just my one word. You're holding me to just commercial. What I meant? Any any source? Any source? Doomsday. Doomsday. There was Doomsday. there was sources. Doomsday. Where? Name them. You're not on Twitter. What are you talking about? You admit but that, you, but you need to name them because I'm acting right now as a regular casual fan. So you need. Need to name them. Any social media account on Twitter that that features boxing, they talked about this you're on. It, you're making it seem like everyone's supposed to know this, Matt. You're a producer in a boxing podcast. So you know I this. Sent to you. You had the links. Don't stop. Don't stop. I am. I am representing the public right now. I'm putting myself in that perspective. Always does you that. Ask Always why. does that. He's he's we're all supposed to know. Again, you you call yourself a hardcore. You should have known about it. It was featured on their social media accounts. Oh my God. We, I sent it to you. You can, go ahead, you can go ahead and shovel dirt on me about me not being a hardcore now when you know that I like to see boxing, but not everyone catches stuff. People have things that happen in their lives, Matt. Not everybody's right behind the fucking TV only watching boxing all day. So you got to understand that we're catering into, to this conversation and talking about it. This fight was people. You. This fight wasn't catering to you or the U.S. audience. They've made that very clear that they do not care about the U.S. audience. Right. Okay. okay. So, 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 do they care about the European audience? Yes. Okay. So, do they have commercials out there? Yes. It's featured on free TV in the UK, like Channel Four status. Channel Four commercials in 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 London about the WS. No, the, the, the fight card is featured on Channel Four for free. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. Well, you don't okay. to feature Chris Eubank and George Groves. It's a European event. Exactly. We're we're, we're an afterthought to them. 
Well, well, you're, but you're still not getting. You're still saying that it's we don't matter. We do matter, man. Not to them. That's what I'm how saying. You, how could you say that? You're not look, them. Look at what they're doing. It's true. Look at what. Look at their marketing plan for they're the U.S. They're always listen. They, it may not be their central marketing plan for their European stuff, man, or or or, or, or whatever's happening in the East. But you can't sit there and tell me that the people are not going to want the maximum exposure. You're speaking out of your ass. They obviously do not. Over half of the tournament has not been on U.S. TV. Or streamed in the, or on you. Well, you on, know what? Shit, I bet you they're going to fucking make corrections. This is the first tournament of its kind. Yeah, they might make corrections. But right now, they obviously did not care. Because it was a European event. You, for you to say they didn't care, no, it's different. False. It's they false. didn't care, it's different, no, bro. It's false. There's been rumors already out that they had a deal with Showtime, and then it didn't go through. And people are wondering whether Richard Schaefer and Al Heyman are beefing. But nobody really knows because now Schaefer's back to promoting the Mikey Garcia card. So please, yo, stop with this bullshit that they didn't care about US TV. You heard what Deontay Wilder said. You can act like he's fucking crazy, but you fucking know it. Ain't no boxer in this motherfucking world ever get bigger than when he's been on US television. Name okay. one that we don't know. Name one that we don't know that didn't fight on U.S. television and all of a sudden is in the motherfucking Hall of Fame and bigger or eclipsing Floyd or fucking Ali or Frazier or any of the big-time boxers that box in the motherfucking America. What are you saying that's disputing with whatever I said? What did I say that you're disputing? What you said is they don't care about the U.S. That's a lie. They tried to get a deal. They couldn't get a deal. HBO ain't want to do it, and Showtime ain't want to do it. They thought Showtime was going to do it. HBO said no. Don't act like they wasn't shopping that shit around the fucking U.S. But, I mean, they buy, didn't have a deal. We ain't, we ain't buy that shit. Yes. We ain't buy that shit. Where's, where's my sound bite? Yes. Oh, I don't got one. Yes. <laughs> if, if they really wanted it on U.S. TV, they would have worked out a deal, but they didn't. They overpriced themselves. They try to lump it as one huge package deal. No, they try to say, yo, you got to play all these motherfucking boring ass fights. All of them. You can't just pick the big ones like this one. You can't just buy this and put it so the world can see at least the fucking champions. What fights have been boring? What fights have been really boring? Dog, it don't matter. It don't matter. It you don't matter. You made a claim and you can't you back it up. You don't get your cake and eat it too. You let the network pick and choose. They could have bought Usek versus... British, British and, and they did not want to do that. The World Boxing Super Series did not want to do that. That's my point. So then don't shit on Doomsday. Don't shit on Doomsday when he asks you a question saying, yo, you don't think they want a maximum sport. No, obviously they don't. They only care about Europe. No, they fuck they don't. They came to us first. It was the priority. You ain't telling facts because you a liar trying to fucking get over on dudes. Uh, don't try to destroy my credibility on air. Matt, That's Matt, stop bullying me, Matt. Uh, <laughs> And again, <laughs> again, I feel bullied right now, my man, man. Really quickly, because I know you want to call me a liar and stuff, and try to destroy my credibility on air, which is kind of weird. Um, but a liar for this particular discussion. Man. Again, Ness, if they really care, they would have got US TV rights, in my opinion. But they so also they have all the control in the oh, world wait, wait, that they could. Wait, did you oh, you you're going, you're, you're going it, off. It's obvious it wasn't a priority, right? Can he you not speak on word, that? Though. Did you what? hear his key word? He Why can't you say that it maybe it wasn't that it wasn't a priority? Maybe it's because they had to roll with the punches and take their shit somewhere else. That's fucking right. They had to pack their bags, put their little tail between their ash. Like, uh, and I mean, I'm not saying it's that, but you're but you're saying it like it like you know it is. Uh, <laughs> no, no, because his, key words, his key words were, in my opinion. As soon as he said it, he said, "In my opinion." So, like, that's all that it is. It's your fucking opinion. Uh, Ness, your entire show is opinion. I uh, I'm not saying that it's not, but but I'm being clear. I'm being clear that Doomsday has an opinion. And the fact that he feels that maybe they wanted maximum exposure on their product is a valid one. Instead of you shutting it down, saying, no, if they wanted maximum, they wouldn't have catered to the Europeans doomsday. Ha, ha, ha. You don't know what you're talking about when you're, in fact, the fucking one that's wrong. Yes, that's not what I said. That is what you said. No, that's not what I said. All right, ask him. He's right there. Ask Doomy? Yes. To, to, to tell me what I said. Yes, I, I want him to really reiterate what he said. Go ahead. Okay, I reiterate what I said or what I mean, because maybe you misunderstand me. That can happen. I always misunderstand you, according to you. You do misunderstand me often. The World Boxing Super Series obviously does not have the U.S. TV 
as a priority. That they were not able to finalize a deal with any sort of network or a combination of networks. So they fell back on their main priority, which was the European market, which they are the base of. Yes, you can go now, Ness. My hand is raised. Listen to me. What part of Kale Sullivan had the fucking European ITV market? That's why he's partners with Schaefer, who's supposed to have the U.S. market because of his dealings with Heyman, bro. What don't you get? It was not what you're saying. Say again, in my opinion, please. Because no, 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 no. That it is like it's fact, when in fact it's not fact. The facts are, what are the facts, two, two promoters, the facts are two promoters came together and they had both intentions of bringing television to both motherfucking worlds, okay? To the UK and the Europeans and to America. Schaefer being the bridge for the American networks and Kale being the bridge for the European networks. But now you're trying to spit it like, no, they only cared about Europe. Stop the lies. I said it's not a main priority. So Again, nah, you switched it up now. Thing. That's not the same oh, thing. No, now it's not a main priority. No, it's exactly what Dooms they said. They failed on the U.S., so they had, a, they had one the U.S. fighter. Why would the U.S. market be a priority? They had one U.S. fighter. The rest were European. Look, we all know the Schaefer's. Schaefer's Schaefer, Schaefer been the one that he wants to take the boxing to all corners of the world. You know what I'm he won, saying? Bro, he won. I love that about you, though. I swear. Don't ever think that because me and you can never be mad at you. Just no. Mwah. Um, that's the jetty kiss. <laughs> he gave him the kiss uh, of death. I, I love it. I love it. You're always, like, you're, always, you're always against it, but it's cool. People are, uh, as long as I see people in the chat, like, yo, Matt, you're wrong this time. It's all good. I'm good with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Matt, you wrong, man. Um, it's okay. But so, digressing, hold on, digressing, because we have to talk about the fight, actually. The fight itself was good. And Doomy actually watched this fight. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. I'm happy about that because I actually. So, I mean, do me at least give us your take on the actual fight. Shit link, by the way. I oh. did. Did, I, did, I, did you not get my HD link? Because yes, I, I did. The one in the chat. I got the YouTube. I'm gonna official. check. Yeah, I got the YouTube link in the chat. And let's for, not forget when we talk about this tournament to talk about the 168 pound um news that we have uh outside of Gilberto um even though Gilberto called out in his own weird Mexican way he called out Chris Eubank <laughs> or the winner <laughs> that was hilarious definitely yeah that, nah, that. man I, I got this link right here I'll send you the HD link uh, after the show yeah it was um uh, I, I mean listen I know I put it on my TV and that shit looked like garbage it and is. it was it was like Russian too. It was like oh no, nah, that wasn't it. The World Boxing Super Series stream uh, was in HD. It was nice. It never shut down. Though they did take it off. They did make it private for some reason. I don't know why they did that. Keep that shit public. Get let it gain views. Again, a little bit of a I don't know of an old thought process in a new media platform right now with World Boxing Super Series. But maybe they made it I, private so that it doesn't. Nah, because it's YouTube, so the server won't go down. No clue. No clue why they made it private. Nonetheless, uh, hell of a fight, man. Uh, I mean, hell of a fucking fight, man. I enjoyed the hell out of a fight. Kudos to Dordicus, man. He uh, fucking took bombs, bro. <laughs> he took bombs from fucking Gassiev. And I think for a moment there, Gassiev actually was thinking about about like what the fuck do I got in front of me you know when you got a guy that's taking your best shots and still coming forward and applying pressure that can be a little bit uh uh Bitty. yeah and just no it'll it'll start wearing on you mentally you know no, what I'm saying? Said, yeah I tried to ignore you <laughs> but you know what I'm saying it, it puts that pressure on you and he's taking your shots it, it, it was it was great seeing Dordicus's um ability to to absorb punches and give out but eventually it just it was it was too much, man. And yo, and Gassiev knocked him out 18 seconds before the fight was over. And um, I actually thought that Dordicus was gonna make it throughout through the whole fight. I'm like, man, this guy's actually gonna make it to the end, taking all these bombs. And sure enough, Gassiev uh put the extra pep on, on, on those last two rounds and really, really, really hit Dordicus with those shots that just couldn't be absorbed anymore. Also, Dordicus was really utilizing that jab, that one-two, controlling the rain. Hell, yeah. You know, he was almost outboxing him in the first half of the fight until he got hurt in the fifth round. That was a huge momentum change. That was a huge change in the fight. Um, Gassio was able to sort of pin him down, I think. Also, Dordicus sort of um, got tired towards the end of the fight. His gas tank failed him. 
And Gassi was able to catch him, able to keep him in, in, on the inside, able to land his shots. Um, but body it, shots were fucking crazy. I don't know if you really got to see how, how many body shots Gassi have landed on there. And, you know, he, 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 uh, his last fighter, or the one before uh, Bradis, I forgot who he fought, uh, uh, Matt, but the one before Bradis, uh, he, he actually knocked the guy down with a body shot, right? Uh, um, Bradis. Bradis fought Usyk. So I don't know who. No, sorry, not 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 Bradis. I'm sorry. The last opponent that Gassia faced before Dordicus, uh, I forget his name, but he put him down with a with a body Lebedev? shot. I don't know if it was Lebedev. I think it was somebody else. It wasn't Lebedev. That. But he put him down with a body shot, and uh, you know he finished the fight like that. So we know that the the Gassia has that power. So again, impressed by um, Dordicus' ability to absorb and and keep mounting on an attack. The, uh -huh. And now we have a fight for the undisputed cruiserweight championship. Yeah, this is it, right? This is the fam the final, yeah. right? All the belts. Yes, Ness. I was going to say that I was um impressed with the fact that he lived up to the fact that he wasn't a typical Cuban. Like no one's gonna mention that he kept coming forward, kept throwing punches. He never he never clinched, he never ran, he never got on his toes, kind of like, you know, he 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 fought like a I don't know a, a definite a warrior style. <laughs> Fucking warrior. I, 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 I'll, I'll be honest. I forgot he was Cuban until you mentioned it right now on the show. Just because he he's, he's not a Laura. He's not an Ezulandi Laura. He's not a Guillermo Ringendale, like you said. Um, he was throwing bombs. They were both throwing bombs, man. I I thought he was gonna get out of the fight and possibly win decision. To be honest, I thought maybe he might steal it, you know, in in enemy territory. Um, but then he got brutally stopped in that last and like you said, eighteen seconds before the fight was finished. Um, and now I can't wait for the for the main final fight, Usyk versus Gassia for all the belts. Oh man, you know, Ness, belts, hates right? it. Ness hates these hipster fights. <laughs> it's okay, you know, you, you know. Uh, I can't wait to see this one: the cat versus the fucking, you know, the straight Russian missile over here. It's gonna be cool, man, to watch a uh, 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 because you know Gassia, even though he's a four power power punching guy type of guy i saw a bit of a bit of boxing skills in, in in his ability to cut off and actually for the first time i've seen gassy have actually fight on his back foot yeah, uh, that was, I, I didn't expect that at first there's not too many guys doing it though you know man how many guys are really pushing this gassy guy back you know dordicus was actually a surprise he really was he truly was and uh, for him actually being the actually thinner guy too he was a bit taller than gassy but he was a thinner guy so it, it further impressed me in the way he was able to push him back but Gassiev, sure enough, showed, uh, 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 you know, angles. And he showed that he, he can box on his back foot and still be a threat. He actually lured Dordicus into a couple of shots throughout the, the later rounds that, that I was impressed by, by, by what he did. Because usually, you know, fighting on the back foot and, and actually throwing counters and, and, and setting up guys for punches, it really shows, shows uh, uh, experience. Agreed. I, I thought it was the best fight of the weekend on paper. It turned out to be the best fight of the weekend in actuality. Um, and I, I think, I don't know if Gassiev has what it takes to beat Usyk, but he definitely showed a couple more levels to him in this fight than what I thought he had. Improved defense, improved footwork, things that he needs to have in order to beat Usyk or be able to catch up to Usyk. I doubt he'll beat Usyk. Me too. I think Usyk's going to be just too good on the jab. He's going to be on the back foot. He's gonna be controlling the pace and the range. Sick as a boxer, bro. I really, yeah, I really think that as far as a boxing, he's he's like he has that cardio. He's yes, serious. <laughs> yes, he's got yeah. serious cardio, and he's Lomachenko intelligent in the ring, like defensively, man. He 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 doesn't play. He rarely gets hit. I'm telling you, he's good. Plus the amount of punches he throws for every round. For yeah, food, it's frustrating. It's it's hard. Plus, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think I'm probably gonna uh, be against you guys on this one. Um, I think I think Gassiev's power is really gonna shock Usyk. Uh, Usyk was able to take a couple of the shots from from Bradis, but you know, Bradis doesn't hit as hard as Gassiev, man. I, I was really and look, he didn't finish uh, 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 Thordicus in the beginning of rounds, but any other guy would have would have would have would have went early with those shots. So uh, I think that I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be picking Gassiev on this one. I think the power is just going to be too much. Could be. But we we'll just see. don't know. We don't know yet. We'll don't see. Know. It's a 50-50 fight. It is. 
That I will agree with. Yeah, it is a 50-50 fight, you could say, but my, my, my 51 is gonna go on uh on gas here. Just just so I can eat crow if I lose early and shit. I'll say I'll say it out there now. No, don't pick with your heart, man. Let, let, this year let's try and you know pick as perfect as possible. Well, I saw I saw look, was I look don't talk to you, do me, not me. Oh, okay. No, you, right? Both of y'all. Why not you? When, when have I ever picked with my heart? You notice that Matt always throws shade at me. Matt swear always throws shade. He just loves he loves stupid. He's like my little brother. So I was just like, yo, I love you, Matt. Of I love you. <laughs> but, of me, Doomy. Don't yeah, worry about but it. But, but, but check this out, dog. I'm not picking out of the heart. I mean, Ness knows that I'm always picking out of the heart per se. Yeah, I like for the some guys. Dog. For some guys, some always- guys, some guys. I, I think I pick like that for the guys that I think deserve. And I see that that hunger. Every guy you've met, you pick with the heart. Take off the beanie. Uh, Yeah, but I I, I really agree that I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree to agree with myself. (laughs) (laughs) Man, Gassiev is good. Yo, look, man, we're not going to talk about Usyk's last fight with Bredis, but come on. He he didn't show he had power. He didn't didn't rock Bredis. He's not doing what, you know, what is he going to do? Win another 12-round decision with a guy like Gassiev? Gassiev, yeah, Gassiev, 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 he showed, bro, that he can go full, throwing a lot of punches and showing, showing, you know, showing different. He could do this for 12 rounds. So it's, if this is going to be a boxing match, this is why I'm counting on Gassiev's power. He, he, has, he has to hurt him. He's going to hurt him. Do me. But Dortikos has one tenth of the footwork. One he was actually the knockout guy, right? One tenth of the hand speed of Usyk. And he made it almost 18 seconds away from a decision. Wait a minute. Dordekus, Dordekus's boxing abilities weren't... Look, it may be in styles that were different. His ability is good, but... But it was the good. speed, the quickness, and the style of Usyk is going to help him counter Gassif. And if Dortikos can last almost 12, Usyk has better cardio. He's shown that he is durable. Maybe more durable. He's more tested, at least. Yeah, I think Usyk's going to last all 12. And what's up with Dordic is not getting no camera time at the end of the fight, man. I, I, did, did you see the press conference? I did not. I did not. You're gonna get attention at the press conference. I mean, I just meant, you know, you know, shit. Not even I know when you're when you're a loser, they're gonna treat you like a loser, right? But not that. I don't think it was that. So Dortico showed up to the post fight press conference and he was crying. He was he emotional, was emotional, huh? He was visibly shaken and emotional. Um and, and you know, even Gassi had to go almost console him. Um, it was a true true sign of sportman, sportsmanship. The the video is going boxing viral on Twitter and social media. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, bro. I, uh, know. I, I shared it. So if you want to go to my account, at Mixed Combat News, shameless plug on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. you, can, you can check out the video in its entirety. Um, so I think I think Dortikos was a little bit more uh, emotional, and he almost wanted to be away from the, the, the arena and the event uh, than it was the promotion, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's that's how I felt. No, no. I mean, like I said, I mean, I was just wondering. You usually, when there's a battle like that, you know, they kind of bring the other fighter in for a little bit. All I saw was basically, you know, people taking selfies with with you know with Usyk and the other guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the only reason I mentioned it. But you know, if if whatever you said happened after the fight, that's cool too. I mean, fighters are always going to get exposure on the um on the press conferences. I it just to me, I was like, oh man, what a fucking fight, you know. Go talk to the other guy real quick and see what the hell he has to say. And I know Gassia would have given him all his credit because he did when he was interviewed. He said that, you know, he didn't even feel like he finished the guy, you know, because the guy was, you know, Dordicus was just so durable. And even though he knocked him out the ring, you know, if it would have been up to Dordicus, he would just got right back up and kept fighting. He was that type of guy. And uh, he, he he was emotional and all that, but he has nothing to be ashamed of. And and, and like Gassia said, hopefully he has bright things coming in his future with the game of boxing. Agreed. Nestor? Yeah, I'm excited um, to see what Usyk does. Uh, I want to see... I mean, because the thing is that the Gassiev's pressure, it's not like... uh, It's like intelligent pressure, right? It's not like he's just coming, 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 coming. Like on that Showbox fight, right? Um, What's that kid's name that was on Showbox? Chiena? What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com 
forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.